I am applying my primer. I don't know, my foundation's a lot darker. This is my summer foundation. We're just getting into summer and I've been wearing sunscreen. So I haven't been tanning my face. I've been wearing sunscreen and when I go to the beach, I plan to wear makeup from now on. Well, I'll try to anyway, so that my face is protected because I'm getting so much freckles. I'm gonna be home, so it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna highlight. Face oil, make it glowy. Because this is a really dry foundation. It's like, like really thick cream. Yes, I'm using my uh, fingers because it will blend it the best. My beauty blender too. I just don't have a mirror and I can't see anything. There you go. Yeah, feels very similar. Besides the beauty blender feels like rough because it's old. I guess I won't be able to tell how well it works until I use it like a lot more. It's working pretty good. No complaints so far. And I'm not gonna overthink it, it's a freaking sponge. So the foundation feels really like, well, felt really thick. Especially with the oil as well, but like now it just feels so lightweight. I feel like I'm wearing beauty cream. I'm happy with the sponge so far. I felt like that with the Real Techniques though, so I'll have to have a couple of uses. For the price, I think it's pretty good. Taking some light concealer and we're just gonna brighten a little bit because we are using a dark foundation i don't know if i wanna i'm right in my forehead because it's really red from from the facial maybe just a little bit i haven't started decorating my house for halloween i don't know if i want to because i can't be bothered packing it up but I didn't do it last year, so I should do it, especially in this house. I'm not as excited as I used to be. I'm getting old. And there's no kids that will like appreciate it. But last year kids did come trick or treating, so that was exciting. I saw only one house in this area decorating. Maybe I'll put up like something small, something easy to pack away. Simple, I won't go all out. I should go all out and do like a haunted house tour. Cool. Do you think people will come setting all that? Because we have oily skin and we did use some oil. No complaints so far with the sponge. It's working really well. I can't even tell that I'm using something different. Besides the fact that I keep saying it, I'm repeating myself, but the beautiful blender just felt a bit rough. But I can't blame the thing. I'm still going to use it until literally I can't use it no more. I remember seeing this video of someone posting like there was like a like a bug inside a beauty blender. I still think about that. Because like she probably didn't have her beauty blender for half as long as I did and she had a bug living inside her beauty blender. I definitely see my freckles, my scars. Throughout the time that I'll do my makeup, I'll be like tapping my sponge to get rid of excess oil um and product and also just to feel refreshed because it feels so good. Wet sponge just makes me feel so refreshed. Using my brow powder, just dragging that color. I used to use so much eyebrow product. Now I just literally use like the tiniest amount. That's probably because I don't like over pluck my eyebrows anymore. I mean, I don't even pluck them anymore, I just shave them. That's it, next. For now, it's a good enough dupe, it's pretty similar, and I'll let you know if I change my mind after using it a while, but I don't think I will because $30 for a sponge is so expensive. The dark shade on the like outer part, just a little bit, very lightly, because it's very dark. Oh, it feels really nice. Let's do something bronzy, almost like the latte makeup that's been going around. I actually do this almost every day. Just taking this like light orange shade. I know, that's the ugliest palette you've ever seen. That's actually BYS and I don't think it's available anymore because I've had it for a very long time.
I kind of do this every day, but I don't go as brown. I kind of just stick to that, actually. We're going to go more latte. I'm going to grab this bronzer. My bronzer that I'm going to use on my face. I'm just going to grab like a denser blending brush. I'm taking this really dark bronze shade. I'm going to cook something I've never cooked before. Do you guys want to see that? A sweet sour chicken. It's actually really nice. With this dark bronze shade that I used, I normally just put it on my crease and don't put anything on my lid. Bronzer. Not too dark. The fact that this is like darker, just like even just a little bit darker than usual. So different. It's actually nice. It's been a while. Right, now I'm going to take a brown eyeliner. Just applying it on my waterline, make it more sultry. I really want to apply it on my um, lash line, but I don't want to ruin my lashes because I just got them done. Oh, see, one's falling. Taking that dark brown shade. Let's go very tan because I actually miss looking really tan. I just want it to look really like sun kissed. This used to be such a thing with makeup look. I remember just applying, like, I don't know if you remember the NYX eyeshadow, like the individual eyeshadow in charcoal, like a really smoky brown. Dark, almost black actually. I used to just like put that on my lid and like my crease when I was 15. I won't oh god I won't do it too much because my foundation is dark. Okay, maybe I'm going too far now. But I can't stop. Yeah, I can't stop. Burn my nose safely. I'm glad I did this. It made me miss wearing makeup. Bright pink. I remember when I got really burnt last year. That's when I bought my face sunscreen. And I actually used it because I couldn't believe how burnt I got. When I started healing, my nose had this sun-kissed like, look. It was actually really nice. But then when I remembered how burnt my face got, so painful. I felt bad for my skin. Whenever I feel the heat of the sun, I'm just like kind of traumatized by it. I wonder how much things changed since I was a teenager. This is soft and gentle. Taking this lip liner, it's just that like nudish pink. I'm using this nude lipstick by Face of Australia. I've melted it because it was in the sun. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I just wanted to put some summer color back in. I feel like for the latte look, we're gonna go more nude. Nude lip with a smoky eye. Brings back memories. More like foundation lip. Get rid of any oils and set one last time. Try and stay away from the highlight. 